Hello again guys with a new grammar lecture. Uh, in today's lecture, uh, I'm going to speak about concord, okay? Uh, let's start with the definition of concord. So what does it mean? It means the agreement, okay? Uh, the agreement means the relationship between two units such as uh, uh, one of them displays it means shows a particular feature that occurs with a uh, displays feature in the other okay يعني معناها the agreement between two elements in a sentence okay الموافقة يعني لازم يتوافقن ال two elements يعني مثل ال subject وال verb يعني مثل ال subject وال object okay لازم يكون بينهن agreement okay uh, concord in English can be of two types uh, either can be concord of number or concord of person uh, this definition means that uh, we've just spoken about it uh, we have two elements in a sentence they should agree with each other uh, طبعا اللي درسنا هذه المواضيع بوقتنا بسنتنا راندول فوكورك اللي هي ست رنا and uh, I'm proud of being one of her students okay so uh, let's start with the, with this example he comes he comes here uh, he is the subject okay syntactically okay, grammatically is the subject okay it shows the feature that it's a singular a singular subject so it should be agreement with the verb okay اللي هو comes هاي الاس مو اس الجمع ولا اس التملك ولا no 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 it's third person singular okay اس الشخص الثالث إذن this is an evidence okay انه هذا الفعل بالمضارع البسيط okay إذن there is agreement between the subject and the verb okay هي مفرد إذن الفعل لازم يأخذ S okay so this uh, is a concord of number he is telling the story he is coming okay this uh, verb من uh, نفعل verbs to be cobbler verb uh, look at uh, this example John hurt himself okay has uh, since John is a male uh, we have to use himself this uh, reflexive pronoun okay Lamira Rikasi okay himself herself themselves okay هن الضمائر reflexive pronouns إذن ما دام عندنا جون since uh, it's uh, he's a male okay we have to use himself okay so there is an agreement between the subject and the pronoun here so this is a concord of person uh, concord types or types of the concord okay uh, concord of number there are three types of concord of number in english we have uh, the first type which is grammatical concord okay it simply means a singular subject requires a singular verb and a plural subject requires a plural verb يعني نفس ما قلنا بالمثال اعلى okay just like uh, the previous example uh, which was uh, he comes okay since the subject is singular so we have to add a uh, third person singular to the verb okay in order to be an agreement between them يعني مثلا they are coming they subject اللي هو plural subject so we have to use a plural verb which is are uh, here uh, look at this example my daughter watch law watches tv of course watches because uh, this is a singular okay noun 
okay a singular subject so we have to use uh, watches okay uh, the teacher in Iraq in Iraqi schools is law are creative so has uh, a subject uh, a subject a subject kill her the teacher in Iraqi schools how the kill her functions as a subject okay then شنو الفورم مالتها الفورم مالتها اللي هي noun phrase okay then how can we differentiate between a phrase and clause شلون نفرق بين الفريز والكلوز a phrase doesn't have a verb okay ما بيها فعل okay the phrase اذا هذا phrase okay okay so uh, there should be a head Okay, the head, where is the head? The head, the teacher, okay? The teacher, here, the head. So, we see that the noun head is singular, so we should choose is. Madame, the teacher is singular, and then we have to use is, okay? We have to choose is. شلون نعرف نميز بين الصبجكت وال... يعني شلون نعرف الفعل وين؟ للي ما يعرفون whatever okay comes before the verb should be subject uh, smoking cigarettes is low are dangerous to your health okay so smoking cigarettes here it is uh, syntactically it is the subject الفورمالتها a close okay so it is non-finite clause. Liesh non-finite clause because it's incomplete. There is no subject. Okay. So the function malate a subject. Okay. Syntactically, the function malate a subject. Zin. Why non-finite clauses? Shunu nistakhdim. Nistakhdim the singular verb or plural verb. We deal with non-finite clauses as a singular subject, so that we use a singular verb with them. We have to use a singular verb. And then smoking cigarettes is dangerous to your health. Okay, so in the evenings, is low are the best time. Hassel, originally it was the best time in, is in the evening. Okay, so Hassel, in the evenings, the function malet has subject, the form malet has Phrase, okay? It is a prepositional phrase, okay? Zin, shunu nakhtar al hai? Nji, al wara al qaws, al hiya the best time, al hiya subject complement. Lian huwa the best time, huwa nafsa in the evenings. In the evenings, huwa nafsa the best time. Has sahna, we deal with what? It means this in the evening, it means time in general. So, non-countable noun, we use with them singular verb. Minijali countable and uncountable or non-countable nouns, we deal with them as a singular subject. So, we have to use a singular verb. So, we have to use is. Because in the evenings refers to time and time is singular. Uh, look at this uh, example above. Uh, what we what were supposed to be a new suggestion was the were failure. Has the subject ginnawen subject whatever comes before the verb, it's the subject. Then how the kill hal ubara hal kill hal what were supposed to be a new suggestions? How the kill hal functions the function as a, a subject. Okay. So, the form مالتها شنو قلنا؟ هل هي close؟ هل هي phrase؟ نشوف هل هي phrase؟ لا. عندنا فعل. And phrase doesn't have a verb. أنا كاتب I already written this to you. I've already written this to you. As إذن the form مالتها شنو؟ It's a close. Okay. Then شنو type مالت ال close هذا؟ The type مالت ال close it is nominal relative close. Okay. ال الموصولة كما في اللغة العربية. Okay. And with nominal relative clause, we have to use plural verb. But according to the idea or the meaning, uh, whether it's singular or plural. As we said in the previous the previous example, we said the time, يعني هاي العبارة in the evening أو refers to what? To time. So time it's singular, uncountable noun. So we have to use a singular verb. 
here uh, according to the meaning uh, whether it's singular or plural لكن ال close هسه هاي نستخدم وياها اللي هو plural verb so we have to use where Uh, measles is low or dangerous. Uh, what does it mean? It means al haspa. Okay, مرض al haspa. Okay. بعدين بينا يعني هو it refers to a disease. Okay, so مفرد يعني معناها. إذا نختار ال is. Okay, so this is. Okay, uh, it's not a plural is, but it is a part of the noun. Okay, مثل أنا أجي أقول linguistics. Pragmatics, semantics, mathma mathematics. Okay, هذن كلهن الاسم ولا تهن مو اسم الجمع. Because it refers to what? To as I'm gonna go linguistics. It refers to one science. Okay, pragmatics. Okay, semantics. Okay, هذن كلهن واحد من عدن يشير إلى فرع من فروع العلم اللغة. Okay, إذا الاسم ولا تهن it's not a plural s. You have to differentiate between them. The news were was the word depressing. Okay, news. In استخدم words. Okay, استخدم وياها a singular verb. Okay, now let's move with another type, which is the second type of concord, which is proximity. Okay. Proximity denotes refers to what? It refers to the agreement of the verb with whatever noun or pronoun closely, immediately coming before it, precedes it. Okay? يعني when we have to focus where? يعني قبل القوس. Okay? قبل القوس احنا نركز على الكلمة اللي هي هاي راح ناخذها it's the key of the solution uh, look at this uh, example uh, what they said about them was lower good as uh, where is the subject the subject is uh, يعني what they said about them okay whatever comes before the verb it's the subject what they said about them so it's a phrase? No. It is nominal relative clause. Okay? Nominal, nominal clause. Okay. So, it is finite or non-finite clause? It is finite clause. Okay? Why? Because we have a subject. We have a subject. It's complete. But uh, when we speak about non-finite clauses, they are not complete. Okay? Has... Uh, شنو نختار يا فعل نختار لها we have to choose was why because it refers to to what to the speech or the thing okay uh, so it requires a singular verb ليش لأن هي أصلا تشير على what they said about them يعني الحكي اللي قالوا عليهم okay الكلام اللي قالوا عليهم الكلام والحكي اللي هو هنا مفرد so since it's a singular, so we have to use a singular verb, okay? Uh, one of them is lo ar coming. Uh, look at this uh, example. It's very important. Focus with me. Here, one of them, it's uh, the subject, okay? Has minniji nakhtar, okay? Isir nakhtar is, we sir nakhtar are. Both of them are correct. So when we choose is grammatical concord one is the most important word so that we choose is Li and one it's the most important word here one the most important word and then one it's a singular so we use is okay nختار R now we can choose R also because according to proximity, okay, concord, them comes before the verb, so we choose R. ليش لأن أصلاً هي them إجت قبل القوس, okay, where before the verb, 
So according to the proximity concord, we have to use R. Uh, none of his, uh, no one of his students support law supports him. Okay, so has the subject one here, subject Kilhan, no one of his students. Yeah, since it doesn't have a verb, so it's a phrase, okay? If we have a phrase, we have to look at the most important word. يعني إذا عندنا فريز لازم ننظر إلى الكلمة اللي هي the head نسميها منو أهم كلمة عندنا no one okay no one السعدنا إذا no one is the head no one شنو مفرد لو جمع no one مفرد إذا شنو نختار نختار supports ليش اختارنا supports according to grammatical concord we have to use support because the singular the subject is singular, so we have to use verb with S. Is there another solution? Yes, it is. شنو اللي هي نختار support اللي هاي الجملة تحمل حاليا شلون نختار supports according to the grammatical concord okay, uh, sorry, according to the proximity concord okay? Uh, his students students is the most important word here uh, because we are dealing with the proximity, the verb should agree with the noun, okay? That immediately comes before it, okay? Since the stu students is plural, so we have to use or to choose support. Concord means agreement between two units in a sentence. Coming late is low R unacceptable. Has a coming late shin here, he a close, okay? Non finite close. Lian bidet in the FLB ING, two zad masdar wa ED wa ING, then in some here non finite closes. Bad a kudalil. Shin here, it's not complete, okay? There is no subject. So, has a coming late, li here again a close, non finite close. It deals with what? With singular verb, so we have to deal with singular verb. Again, non finite clauses, singular verb. Okay, and a singular subject acquires a singular verb, and uh, ver uh, vice versa. Thanks for watching. All the best of good luck for you.